Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to create wireframes, just wireframes without any shade. If you want to create wireframes with shades, you can check out the other tutorials that I've made. I've put the links in the description, you can watch them there. This video is focused only on creating wireframes without any shading. Fine. So for that, we'll use something called Maya's hardware render buffer. Okay. So what I have here is a simple torus, which is just rotating. So the animation is for 60 frames. And I'm going to create just the wireframe of this. First, let's go to Windows and choose rendering editors. And there you'll find hardware render buffer. Open it up. So it opens up like that. Okay, so if you just click the render button, it'll just give you shaded mode. Fine, because we have not enabled wireframe yet. Let's go to the render menu and choose attributes. Okay, so this should open up the attributes of the hardware render. But if it does not, just go back once again, choose attributes. Make sure that you're in default hardware render globals. Fine, so let's go down, let's do a few things. First, I want to choose uh, the way my files are going to be named. And here I can also give a name for my file. So let's say I name it as um, spin. Okay. And then here's the name that will come and the, uh, the frame number. And then we also have need to have the extension after that, which is a good way of saving our files. Otherwise, it might get lost about what extension it's supposed to have. So let's keep the extension at the end. Now the total duration of our animation is 60 frames. So let me get rid of that 10. Fine, and the format that I want to save is Targa. Uh, it's better to choose either Targa, PNG. Uh, those are the best formats for exporting your image sequence. Fine, now next thing is the resolution. You can pick the one that you like. Okay, so let's say I'll choose 400, oh, sorry, 640 by 480, click OK. And then let's go down here, and this is where we choose the wireframe. So in the draw type, choose wireframe. Okay, so now once I choose the wireframe, now if I hit render, you'll notice that it gives me just the wireframe. No shading. Looks good. Let's improve it with a couple of steps. Go down to multi-pass render options. Turn on this multi-pass rendering, and this will just improve the quality a bit better. We can go up to 16 or 25. But if you take a more closer look, you might find that the edges are a bit more sharper. So you might want to smooth it out. What we can do is we can just turn on this anti-alias polygons. Just turn this on, click the render once again. Now you can see that the edges becomes a little bit more softer. So depending on your need, you might or you might not want the wireframes on the back side of the object. So in that case, if you don't want them, what you can do is just shift right click on the object and we have to go down all the way down to polygon display. Okay, in my screen it's not showing so I'll just remove, I'll deselect and then I'll go up here, press shift, right click and I'll show you polygon display. Fine. We have to choose the first option that says toggle back face culling. Okay, so once you do that, now you will no longer see the faces that are in the backside. And this will happen throughout the uh, scene. So if I just go to a different pose, you can see that the ones in the back are not visible. Just the ones in the front are visible for us. Okay, now everything looks good, but uh, only the thing is like the color of the wireframe is a bit too dark. So we might want to have a different color. So in that case, what we can do is go to Windows, choose Settings and Preferences, and inside that you will find Color Settings. Okay, so go inside the Inactive tab and choose Modeling. And down um, inside the Objects, there you will find Polygon Surfaces. So you can see that it's dark blue. Let's change it to some brighter color, let's say red is a bit bright let's check out how that render comes out so you can see that now it's in red that's another bright color so let's say let's try something 
yellow. There you go. So that's more clear. Fine. So let's make one more rendering here. I'll go to render and choose render sequence. Okay, now let me just choose my F check. I can even press the start button and just type in F check so that F check shows up there. I can click on that. Let's go to file, open animation. Let me just choose the spin and choose open. And there you go. So now we have our uh, wireframe render in yellow color. So this completes this video. Hope you like it. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or if you want to know more things about wireframe rendering, please write them in the comment section below. You can also check out my website that is reese3d.com. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification so that you get update information about the new videos that I make. Thank you.